That was Olga Robinson. Now the results of clinical trials of a new dementia drug will be published in the next few minutes at a news conference in the Netherlands. Hopes are high for the drug after its makers reported in May that treatment slowed the pace of Alzheimer's by about a third in patients in the early stages of the disease. Sir John Hardy, who's a professor of neurodegenerative disease at University College London, has advised the firm during the development of that drug. He joins me live now from Amsterdam. And professor, thank you you so much for being with us because I know we're not that far away from uh, the actual announcement but uh, if it is what we anticipate just how significant is that do you think? Oh it's great news it's really great news this is now the second drug in the last six months which both removes amyloid from the brain and also slows the clinical decline by about a third as you said in your introduction so it's really great news and the fact that this is the second drug tells that this is a way of predictably uh, helping with the clinical features of Alzheimer's disease. And also, incidentally, means that now there's, if you like, competition in the marketplace between two different drugs, which will help drive the price of these quite expensive drugs down. So it's good news in every sense. Without being too technical, how does the drug actually work? And in terms of slowing the pace, tell us a little more about that too. So all the, if a drug has the name AB at the end, AB, that means it's an antibody. And so this is an antibody. Uh, and how it works is the antibody binds to the amyloid in the brain and helps the brain cells then remove the amyloid from the brain. So it's it's a rather straightforward mechanism, difficult in, in practice, but a rather straightforward idea. Antibodies bind to something, and then the cells of the body then remove the things to which the amyloid, the antibody is bound. And how quickly, potentially, could this be brought to patients? So in the US, the first of these drugs, lecanemab, um, was put to approval uh, a about November last year, and it's now been approved by the FDA. So this sort of approval can happen quite quickly, um, you know, if, if the authorities are willing. Of course, it's a, a process which has to be careful because there are safety concerns about the drugs, but uh, it's a process which can happen quite quickly. There's a second stage of the process in the UK, though, and that is after the approval, uh, after safety approval, there then has to be a uh, um, assessment by a committee called NICE, National Institute for Clinical Excellence, which basically decides whether the drugs are value for money, whether the clinical benefit is worth the amount of money which is being spent. And that is going to be, uh, I'm sure, a difficult discussion because the drugs are expensive giving the drugs is expensive because of the monitoring that's required but it does have a real clinical benefit and will slow people's decline and therefore slow the rate at which people need for example to go into nursing homes just a final thought then in terms of uh, arriving at a moment like this because uh, it is a step closer isn't it to a cure to stopping it as opposed to perhaps just slowing it that's right as we spoke about it, it's slowing decline 30%. We obviously want to stop decline. There's two ways that might happen. The first way is we might be, is we, we should get better at diagnosing the disease earlier. We think that the, the drugs will be more effective if we can go earlier in the process. And the second is we need to uh, develop other drugs which will are now, you know, both to amyloid and also to the rest of the pathology of the disease. So we now we know we, what we need to do. We need to develop more amyloid drugs, uh, look at other targets and also get better at diagnosing the disease earlier. So, John Hardy, I know you're uh, just breaking away uh, from this news conference to actually talk to us. So we're incredibly grateful that you've spared us this time. But I'll let you get back there and uh, perhaps we'll talk again in the coming months uh, as a result. It's my of, uh, pleasure. We're today. really excited here. My pleasure. Thank Pro you. Professor, thanks very much.